So Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury was just announced for February the 24th in Rita, Saudi Arabia on top rank ESPN boxing courtesy of Bob Arum. I'm excited for it, man. This is this is a fight I've been wanting to see. The world has been wanting to see Jake Paul fight a boxer. That's the one claim against Jake Paul is that he has not fought a boxer. That's what that's it. That's all anybody ever talks about with Jake Paul. Oh, he's bought up he's beat up Tyron Woodley, an MMA fighter. Oh, he's beat up Ben Askren, an MMA fighter. He beat up Nate Robinson, a basketball player. He beat Annie Sangil, a YouTuber. He beat Deji, a YouTuber. On February the 24th, a live on pay-per-view, we're going to see Jake Paul fight a boxer. And not just any boxer, but the brother of the heavyweight champion of the world, Tyson Fury. We're going to see him fight Tommy Fury on February the 24th. I'm excited, man. It's in Saudi Arabia. The first fight Tommy Fury pulled out of, I think it was due to a sickness or an injury or something. And then in the second fight, Tommy Fury pulled out of the fight due to to visa issues and not being able to get into the united states remember that fight was supposed to go down in madison square garden new york new york that's where that was supposed to go down but if you don't remember i think it was about a year ago now tommy fury pulled out of the fight and now there's no excuses man tommy fury cannot pull out of this fight for a third time no matter what man it's gonna have to be something wild like it's gonna have to be a broken hand or something absolutely vicious to get tommy fury to pull out of this fight now if he does it again he's pretty much tarnished but there's so much pressure on tommy fury man as much pressure as there is on jake paul there's just as much pressure on tommy fury right for jake paul this whole thing is a game he's coming in here he's knocking these dudes out for tommy fury man he doesn't have a youtube channel this is tommy fury's life Tommy Fury's life is in boxing. Tommy Fury's family's lives are in boxing. They're not YouTubers. Jake Paul's brother is a WWE superstar. Jake Paul is a video star. He's an Instagram star. He's he's doing the better, the betting website. He's on everything else. Jake Paul can lose in boxing. That's the misconception that everybody has. The misconception is that Jake Paul's just a boxer. And if Jake Paul loses, this whole show's over. The boxing show might very well be over with the loss. However, his money-making ventures are not going to be over with a loss. So Jake Paul's going to take the biggest paydays. Now, I don't believe this fight is going to be rigged. I don't think any of Jake Paul's fights were rigged. I think you're kind of coping if you say Jake Paul's fights are rigged because he's knocking people out. And it's it, they're very legitimate knockouts. I mean, you can see the punches. They're not they're not shadow punches or, or anything else. They're hidden. That fight that Jake Paul had with Anderson Silva was very impressive. Jake Paul was able to outbox Anderson Silva, a striking legend in mixed martial arts, and he was able to knock him down in the eighth round. Now, Jake Paul, I don't think he's a top-level boxer, but he's just getting into the game. How can you fault him that hard? You know, there's a lot of hate on Jake Paul. I get it. And I, th I think a lot of people are going to act like I'm sucking up on Jake Paul. I'm not sucking up to Jake Paul at all, man. I, I don't like Jake Paul. I'm just giving him his credit where credit is due. And I believe that he has done out there and he's done impressive things. I think by far he's the most impressive YouTube boxer. By far more impressive than what KSI has done. KSI is knocking out uh, FaZe Temper. FaZe Temper is not on the level of Tyron Woodley. He's not on the level of even a Ben Askren in my opinion. I think that you take guys that are from combat sports backgrounds, they're inherently better than guys that are gamers. So what I think Jake Paul is doing, I think it's more impressive than what KSI is doing as of right now. That very well may change if KSI goes out there and he fights Tyron Woodley and he knocks out Tyron Woodley cold. Then my opinions may change. But for now, I'm going with Jake Paul as the best YouTube boxer. And Tommy Fury, I think he's had somewhere in the realm of seven fights. I think his last fight was against Anthony Pretty Boy Taylor. If I, or no, no, he fought in Dubai. Yeah, he fought in Dubai on the Deji versus Floyd Mayweather undercard. That's when Jake Paul was teasing him ringside, playing some mind games. And, and that's kind of, I think, when this fight was made, man. I'm, I'm very excited for this fight. It's going to be a test on both men. And whoever loses is pretty much going to have to quit boxing. Because if you get, if Tommy Fury gets knocked out by Jake Paul, how do you ever become a serious boxer? You know what I mean? It's pretty much, you're going to be on every, on every meme on the internet. So there's so much pressure on this fight. I think there's more pressure for Tommy Fury. Some people will argue Jake Paul. But again, I argue Tommy Fury just because... His entire family's name is made on boxing, whereas Jake Paul's family name is not tied 
directly to boxing, even though now it kind of is boxing. However, Jake Paul has so many other ventures that I don't believe this is the only thing that he's known for now. So I believe this is going to be a great fight. I think it's going to, I think they're fairly similar skill levels right now on my early prediction. This is not obviously my very, this is not my real prediction. I'm probably going to do that fight week. So that February, you know, February 17th through 24th, I'm probably going to make some videos on this fight because this is a big time fight. ESPN plus pay-per-view, which I also thought that was cool. Jake Paul, I guess he fought all his fights on Showtime. I remember when he signed that Showtime deal and thinking he's going to fight some fights on Showtime. So yeah, I think it was a three, I think it was a three fight Showtime deal. And he did two Tyron Woodley fights and one Anderson Silva fight. And I think that that contract is up. So now we're going to have seen Jake Paul on an amateur boxing card with Deji. I don't even, I don't know what promotion that was. But then we have, he had the DAZN fight when he fought Anisan Gibb. Then after that, he fought on Triller. And now he's fighting. And, well, then he fought on Showtime. And now he's fighting on ESPN Plus pay-per-view. And I enjoy ESPN Plus pay-per-view, and I think it's actually going to do more pay-per-view buys than the Showtime fights. I do. I think more people are going to purchase this fight. I really do. I think it's a good time, too. It's going to be post-Super Bowl, no NFL. I, I don't know what it's going to really be on at that time, but I, I think they should be post-Super Bowl, if I'm not mistaken. And I think it's going to be kind of a, a fairly open time in sports. You know, I don't think MLB will have started. I think that I don't know if there's a UFC event on that day. I haven't checked. But... If that is in the realm of possibility, that would be a good competition. So I'm excited to see this. I think people, more people will use ESPN Plus, and that is a very big rivalry because Jake Paul has beef with the UFC, who's also on ESPN Plus. So that that's kind of an interesting thing. So I, I kind of like that aspect of this whole thing. But yeah, I, I personally prefer ESPN Plus. I just think it's much smoother. I like the way it looks a lot better than Showtime fights. However, yeah, it's up to you. That's just personal preference. But yet, to me, ESPN Plus just feels like the biggest fights go down there. Even though some, well, you know, Showtime actually does feel like the biggest fights go down on there because of the Floyd Mayweather fights. But per recently, I feel like the biggest fights are on ESPN Plus. You know, George Camposis versus Devin Haney. You know, just a lot of fights go down on ESPN Plus. Anyways, I'm excited to see Jake Paul fight on ESPN Plus. I really am. I think that this fight could do. I don't know how expensive the pay-per-views are. I don't know if they've released that information yet. However, I think if they release a reasonably priced pay-per-view range, this could sell up into the 400000 range. I really do. I think that Jake Paul is a draw. And I also do think that with the Tommy Fury, the, the Fury name, you're going to get boxing purists to watch this fight. This isn't Jake Paul versus an MMA fighter. This isn't Jake Paul versus a, a YouTuber. You know, This is boxer versus Jake Paul. This is what all the boxing purists have been asking Jake Paul to do. And if Jake Paul goes in there and beats a guy who's undefeated, how they keep saying in boxing, it's going to it's gonna have to amount to something. See, that's the misconception, guys. A lot of people think that boxing, you know, Tommy Fury's undefeated. He's fighting an undefeated guy. I used to think that. I used to see these guys who were undefeated. And I used to be like, wow, that's so impressive. Man, if you see some of the people they fight, you can go undefeated, man. Jake Paul could be undefeated. I guarantee you with the people that Tommy Fury has fought. I'm not saying that to slander anybody that Tommy Fury has fought, which I will be doing a video on that and why I believe that Jake Paul, there's going to be opportunities for Jake Paul because Tommy Fury was caught by some people that he should not have been getting caught by. And I don't believe Jake Paul would have gotten caught by those people. But we're going to see a very good fight. I'm predicting Jake Paul. I think he's going to be able to knock him out. That's my early prediction. Let me know what you guys think of this fight. I'm very intrigued. Are you guys excited to see Jake Paul finally take on a boxer? Let me know.